So in our discussion of confidence intervals, uh, we have both talked about the fact that sometimes we want to do confidence intervals that are two-tailed, and sometimes we want to do them as just one-tailed. What we haven't talked about so far is how do we distinguish when we do one versus the other. And the nice thing is, is that it's actually pretty simple uh, how to distinguish these, these two. And we've seen some of it has to do with some like wording or some verbiage uh, in the individual problems. Uh, but we can basically assume that the default is two-tailed. So let's suppose that we are doing some word problem and you know we're talking about, oh, I don't know, uh, we, we talk about that we want to have the confidence interval of the approval of some senator. And if nothing is said except other, other than we want to do like a 95% confidence interval, the default is a two-tailed test. It's just what the default is. So if we don't get any specific direction, um, in the problem, then we know that we are going to be doing a two-tailed. Now we know that we're going to be doing a one-tailed if. There's specific direction. Direction in the problem. So for example, let's say that you are some political polar and you want to say that this senator has at least, um, at least a minimum approval rating. You're 95% confident that he has at least some minimum. So if we see something like 95% confident at least Or we could do something like 95% confident no more. Those are good indicators that we are instead looking for a one-tailed interval. And it takes a little bit of time and just practice of getting used to when we want one versus the other, but the default is two-tailed. If we get this no more than, right, we're looking for some upper value and everything below. And if we get this 95% confident at least, we're doing a one-tailed from the other direction, kind of like this, where there's a minimum value and we're saying that it's at least some value. So that is how we can tell whether or not in our word problems if, if we are doing a one-tailed or a two-tailed. So just remember, two-tailed is the default. If you're given no instruction, you're going to do a two-tailed confidence interval. Um, sometimes you might hear, like if they want it between some values, that's a typically a good indicator uh, that we want a two-tailed as well. One-tailed is, we usually have a specific direction in the problem, 95% confidence at least, or 95% confident that there is no more. Anyhow, that's how we can tell if we are going to be using a one or a two-tailed confidence interval.